Do you know what? I really hope these guards don't have a problem with me uh, living in the city walls here. I'm sure if I keep to myself, a humble beggar such as myself will uh, not draw any unwanted attention from the guards. But my friends, welcome to the next episode of Skyrim Life as a Beggar. Now, if you remember, in the first episode of this series, we began our life as a beggar. And we began our journey to Riften, which we've got about half the journey yet to go. We decided to stop off here at Whiterun for a much-needed reprieve from the troubles of the outside world. Uh, if you haven't watched the last episode, go watch that. And you'll see what troubles we ran into on the road there. But we're here, we're safe, and we need to sleep, actually, because it is getting evening now. We got here just as the sun began to set. The sky's still slightly red. So if we sleep now, come morning, we can begin begging. And uh, we have a few things we can sell as well for extra coin. So let's... Uh, oh, my guy's hungry as well. So we're definitely going to need to get some food come morning. So let's sleep for now, shall we? Let's let's have a nice 12 hours, I think. We deserve it after that kind of journey we went on. There, it's about half eight. And I'm very hungry, very thirsty, but I am rested. So we need to drink and eat very quickly. We have a perpetual fire going on here, which is actually very handy. Because as you know, we've got uh, hypothermia mods on. So we will freeze to death. If we don't have a constant heat source when it gets cold. But the guards seem to be okay with us. And it is a glorious morning here in Whiterun. The citizens are out. There are plenty of people to uh, to ask and beg to. I think I will get out of this armor. Because this isn't really my, my beggar stuff. This is kind of stuff I picked up on the road. And I'm going to sell that for coin, I think. There we are. These, this is my beggar clothes right there. I don't want people thinking I'm uh, conning them. I am, I am really a beggar. Oh, look, we're being approached by this fella. I wonder if he's going to spare some coin for I us. The Pelagia Pelagia. Just outside the city walls. Oh, I have cabbage to sell. Honest I guess they already had cabbage work. on me. How much is he going to offer me for that? Oh, cabbages are worth more than potatoes, it would seem. Maybe I'll go pick some cabbages this episode. Uh, but Need I will something? also ask for some coin, please, good sir. I Just a coin or two, nah, please. I don't think so. Okay, not, not off to a good start here. I guess he's a... Uh, <laughs> he's a supplier of jobs. He's one of the elites. He owns the farms here. The elites look down upon us, like that guy, that uh, noble in Markarth. Maybe someone uh, mm -hmm. yeah. as humble as a citizen would give something? us a coin or two. Just just one or two, friend. Okay, just these ones. Thank you, friend. That's See, the, the average citizen is, is way more generous than uh, our so-called betters. It really says a lot about our society. Like pilgrim. Yes. Surely this pious Need pilgrim something. would give us a coin or two. It's not too much to ask, is okay, it, good friend? Oh, thank once. you. Very kind. Single piece, but uh, you know, I'm not going to scoff yes. at that. Need I'm just going to go on a massive spree of, of begging here. Get some really okay, good coin. Just this once. Thank you. Thank you, man. Three pieces. Very nice. See, we're just like that. We're earning a decent amount. I wonder if the guards will uh, will sell to me. I don't want to get on their bad side. Though. Reforming the need something? I need, yeah, I do need something. I need no, some coins. I don't think so. No, the guards. It looks like, you know... The, the average citizen is more giving than most, which is actually a good thing. It, it makes me hopeful for this mm -hmm. land. When Need the citizens something. pull together like this and support each other, it really it really shows me something. No, I don't think so. Well, apart from this guy. Be careful. Well, okay, I won't, I won't push him any. <laughs> I don't, don't want to get on anyone's bad side. We also have a lot of product to sell we picked up in our travels. So uh, let's uh, let's go to our good friend here, Bellathor. And it's actually still closed, so you know, I saw something we'll do some more begging in the meantime. Ah, oh, she seems Once nice. You sold her. Need She's been known to help people. A coin or two. Okay, just thank you, once. thank you, Solder. Thank you. Three pieces, very nice. What about you, Hunter? Oh, did you need, need something? I would like. Yes, I would like some coin. Please, good of sir. Of course. Of course, he said. Of course, he's like the first person who would give it willingly, and uh, actually happily give. That's very nice of him. What about this veteran? Mm -hmm. He looks like he something? carries a coin, a big heavy coin pouch. Okay. Come on. Just this once. Thank you, sir. Five pieces. There we are. Look at that. We're earning a lot. And oh, look, there it is. The keep. The Yarl's Grand Palace. Ah, oh, to live in there would be glorious. One can only dream. Maybe one day we will have the resources to buy ourselves a palace or at least a nice manor house or something. What about this fellow? If you give me a coin, I will pray at your shrine. Need something? Please, good okay, sir. Just this Thank once. you. Thank you. People are very kind. Oh, ten pieces. Heimsker. Yes. My friend. Oh, blessings upon you. The beggar's blessing upon you. I'll, I'll pray for your God. Thank you. Oh, a fellow beggar. Uh, 
I'm not going to give you a piece, but will you give me something? Please? Uh, a coin or two, please. I don't think so. Okay. Okay, so you won't help me out. Beggars are not helping each other out. Man, I miss my beggar friend. I miss my friend that, uh... That we went to be here with, but he died on the road. That, that banded explorer killed him for no good reason. Right, okay. I think after our troubles on the road and at the loss of our beggar friend last episode, I've scrounged up a few coins. I'm going to buy myself a stiff drink to uh, to mask the horrors of last episode. So let's go into the inn. Oh, look at this. Plenty of people to, to beg from. Ask for coin aplenty. But uh, my, my, my goal is still to reach Riften. This is just you know, a rest stop after last episode and the troubles we faced. I think I... I'm deserving of a drink, but before I get too drunk, I will uh, beg for more yeah. coin. Friend, I would like a Need coin something? too, please. Okay, Friend. just this Thank once. you, thank you, sir. Six pieces. Oh, what about yes. you? Oh, that's the veteran we already asked. Uh, what are you, laborer? <laughs> Need something? I know you work very hard for your coin, but if you okay, could part with just, just a piece. For, yes, very nice. Need thank something? you. What, what are you, you, friend? Need something? Yes, I, I need a coin. Okay, just this once. Thank you. People are very generous today. Maybe it's because they've had a few drinks in them after a hard day's work. Mm -hmm. My word. Nice fire, though, to keep us warm. Very good. And, uh, oh, who's I... this? What's going on with your face? Why is it so, like, weirdly Get away from stretched? Me. There's something uncannily strange about her I... face. It's kind of Cro Magnon looking. Need something? She's almost like a cavewoman or something. Like, kind of, no, please. I don't yeah. think so. Okay. If you need more to drink, speak to Holder. What are you, what are you doing? Hurry. Need right, something? I do need a drink, but I need to eat first, actually. So, uh, before I get drunk, I need to eat and drink. Actually, let's check my hunger level. So, very hungry, very thirsty. So, if we drink alcohol, it's actually going to make us more dehydrated. So, let's quickly eat, shall we? Hawker meat, it's raw. I think that might be sick, so I need to cook that. I have got a cooking pot, but the leg of goat roast, a filling meal. I'm still hungry, though. I think a vegetable soup would go well with that. And then maybe an apple. I need more food, so I have a, a whole leg of goat, a stew, and two apples. Have I got any water? I've got water on me. Oh no, it's, it's an empty water skin, so I need to get that filled. Luckily, I can ask the barkeep to fill it for me. Please. Uh, I'd like some water. Uh, water skin, and I've got boiled water. Fantastic. Cool, I'll buy some, some drink later. Maybe I'll, st maybe I'll steal a few bottles. I'm not above feeding, of course. This guy's disgusting singing. It's horrible to hear. Uh, the citizens here seem to like it. Alright, let's drink our water skin. We have to keep on top of our needs. Have a bit more water, though. I think two sips will do it. Very nice. We need to make sure we keep that water skin full. We can fill it up in rivers and things, as long as it's a clean water source. We won't poison ourselves. So let's check our needs now. Uh, we are currently peckish, not thirsty, not tired. So I think we're ready to buy some alcohol. Let's ask one of the wenches holding the drinks. Maybe we'll get a yes. better deal. Uh, let's fill my water skin up again. And then I will... See what you got for sale. I looked a... I looked for a stiff drink to hide the horrors. Have I already actually already got some? That, that's a question. If I already have drink, there's no reason for me. I've got wine. I don't need to uh, buy. Mm -hmm. I need to save all the coins I have. I've got alto wine. So, yes. let's, let's drink alongside everyone else. I guess a whole bottle. <laughs> What's that doing to us? Oh, we're getting a bit dizzy, a bit blurry. We are completely warm. That's warmed our soul up. So It's a bit fuzzy. So I guess a whole bottle of Alto wine will do that to you. I think, you know, I haven't quite masked my horrors yet. I think I'm deserving of another one. So let's have a, let's have a normal wine, shall we? Save the Alto wine for a special occasion. Uh, okay, I'm actually... Nicely drunk, but it's uh, perhaps another An ale. Oh, I'm, I'm really mixing my drinks here. I probably shouldn't do that. Okay, let's see if Bellathor's shop is open now. We've had a few drinks. We're getting at least a little bit of joy out of this this cruel, grim world. Oh my, it's raining now. Oh no, we're drunk and it's raining. Everyone's blurry. I can't see. This probably isn't the best <laughs> thing to do in a video where it's all blurry and you're seeing double of everyone. Good sir. Coin or two, please. Yeah, you know, oh, it's thundering and lightning. A coin or two. Okay, it's glad, I'm glad he didn't look down on me for being drunk. That's very nice. But let's see if Bellathor is this open yet. It's, uh, it's open now. Oh, I have product to sell, friend. I'm, I'm quite drunk, so I'm seeing two of you. 
Trinket. You got for sale, Arts friend. So, what? Where did they get Ebony Sword? Where did they get that? My word. Right, let's sell this Dwarven Sword. I might keep the Ebony Sword for just defense when it needs, when I need it, you know. I'll keep a dagger on my... Actually, do you know what? Let's sell the sword. Let's be realistic here. I think a beggar would would, uh, would, would want to part with that because how valuable it is. Maybe I should only have a dagger on me. Like an orcish dagger. That might make more sense for a beggar to have rather than having an ebony sword. But then again, I did, I, did, I did find it out in the world, so I wouldn't... Got all these pelts. My word, these are worth a lot. The one step closer to buying that house. Although we did take these from a, uh, a dead hunter we found, so I am kind of saddened by that. All right, well, thank you, Bella Thor. You've Do earned you me a lot back. of coin. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Well, we're still far away from buying a house. I probably sh I'm probably wishing now I didn't actually get drunk because it's impossible to see stuff. It's raining as well now. It's not very nice to look at. But um, I think a another goal for this series, because it is only episode two, so it's, uh, it's nice to think of new ideas as we go along. But uh, I saw a lot of comments, and I myself was thinking about it. Uh, buying the, the manor house in solitude would be a very awesome goal for this series. And obviously, that's going to take a lot of money. So the things we get from like begging and selling you know, will take a while, but ultimately, if we do that, uh, if we kind of work towards that, that'll be a realistic goal for us as a beggar. Basically, going from rags to uh, riches, really. Uh, right now, we're living inside alleyways and things, and one day we'll own a manor house. It seems like a very good goal for us. But uh, for now, I think I'm going to store some stuff. I should do. I'm not going to be in White Run for that long, so I, I probably uh, shouldn't really bother storing stuff. But, we've had a, quite a few drinks now. Oh my. I've seen double of everyone. As I get, as I get closer, they I kind of the form into one. Alright, let's see if there's any the fellow beggars long that long we can, uh... We can look around for. Maybe they know the inside scoop of the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another... Uh, speaking of that, there's another beggar here. Hello, friend. Oh, are you... Are you always drunk? I'm not really one to talk. I, uh... I'm drunk myself. I guess we're fellow drunks. Let's be drunk together, friend. Oh, yes, agreed, friend. Oh, there we are. I just sobered up quickly there. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. Argonian ale? Ooh. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Oh, you want to steal an ale for you? Uh, let me feed you a bad habit. Do you know what? As a fellow drunk beggar, I... Empathize with you, friend. I truly do. I, I will get you the ale. Listen, I know better than anyone that ale and wine and things can be a great comfort for hiding the horrors that we people like us face, my friend. So I will get you the ale. I guess we're gonna steal this guy an Argonian ale, and I am actually damp now from the uh, from the rain. So let's get inside and warm ourselves up at the hearth, shall we? Right, where is this Argonian ale then? Is it? Somewhere over here. Oh, I feel warm. Let's warm up. Oh, I'm sorry that it's shameful. You have a coin or two? Then give me. Maybe if you if you care about the safety of this uh, city, you'll care about the people living there, including the beggars. Nope. See, okay. He, he really cares, doesn't he, guys? Wait, is he good ale over here? Maybe the ale's in like the kitchen area. There's a cook here, though. You might be able to see us. Somewhere in here. Guess they're okay with a random beggar just rummaging through everything, looking for <laughs> looking for an ale. But down here, Nord Mead, Alto Wine. If you need more food or drink, speak to Holger. Oh no, I'm okay. I've been drunk already once today. Oh, there's the Argonian ale. It's right there, Mind before you my man. very eyes. Right, I'm gonna have to make sure no one's around. So, right, so I can steal it. My, my, I don't think my stealth is really that high. If I if I get caught, it'll be a night in the dungeons. Yeah. I know it's only petty crime, but it's not like uh, they'll lock me up forever if I get caught anyway. Come on, get out of there, guys. You need my beggar friend to to get his nice stiff drink. He, he, he deserves it, I think. Oh, I'm still saddened by the loss of my beggar friend last episode. He should have been here with us. Yeah, if it's a lady you're looking for. All right, can I steal this Argonian ale? Oh, you talking about uh, what if I do this? Oh, that works. <laughs> Let's go up here and steal it. Steel. Away from everyone. Uh, I like that that's a thing you can do. Skyrim is a funny game. And now we've taken it. Let's give him the Argonian Ale. Although, I'm curious about what it tastes like myself. I never had Argonian Ale before. It, uh, it sounds intriguing. It might be delicious. But we must give it to our friend. 
Oh, it's still raining. What horrible weather. I think we'll wait for the rain to let up before we head out to Riften. My friend, I have good news, friend. Here's that special ale you wanted. Indeed, my friend. My thanks, friend. Here, take this here healing potion. I found it in the temple. A worthy trade. Thank you, friend. Potion of vigorous healing. Very worthy trade. Good. Still thirsty? Good, friend. Good. Get somewhere warm. Actually, actually, come with me, friend. I'll bring you to my little place and you can get warm. We need to work together, friend. Give me a coin or two. Okay, just this there we are. Once. Even he will give us a coin. Look, four pieces. Thank you, friend. Honestly, my friend, come, come with me and keep yourself warm. Something? I can get him to follow me. Fight, gift. Um, please, come with me. All right, then. Come on, fellow beggar. Let's go Let's go to my little, my little place. I've got, I've got fire. Let's get out of this storm. It's not much. It's not much, but it's, it's away from the troubles of this storm. Come on, let's get in here. The glowing fire. There we are. Let's rest a bit, friend. Although this actually isn't really giving us much shelter, so let's go down here a bit. Right, very nice. I actually don't think I can get this guy to stop following me now. I think this guy's perma following me. How do I? I don't want. The, I don't want to bring this guy outside the outside white run after what happened last time. Friend, it's. I don't want to bring you with me because if you die on the road, I will never forgive myself. Oh, lovely weather we're having. <laughs> it really is. It can't be helped. I guess it can't. I guess it can't. Perhaps he'll leave my side eventually. But my word, the rain just won't let up, will it? Let's try and find somewhere a bit a bit warmer out of this rain. Well, I want to make sure I kind of get as much out of this town before I leave the Riften. As much as I can. I think I'll pay for a cart ride this time to get myself the rest of the way. I don't want to go through what I did last episode. Being out in the wilds and facing all the hardships and dangers again. But uh, perhaps we can find a good few things in in a good old in the good old Jarl's palace perhaps oh what's this oh there's a little hatch here oh yes it's part of my thief mod I'm sure if you've watched life as a thief you've seen me enter that place perhaps I will uh, go inside and have a little look around if not just to get out of this uh, weather at least oh the water flows uh, very rapidly indeed down here actually am I thirsty I wonder if I can drink this water I'm hungry, slightly thirsty. I wonder if this is clean water. I mean, it's flowing right. No longer thirsty. There we are. It's clean water. It's running water. Right. If we go up this way, it should lead us to the Jarl's palace. And I'm sure he won't miss, you know, a few trinkets. Uh, not that I'm a master thief or anything, but... You know, a couple trinkets before I part from this city would be very helpful for me, I think. What's in here? Oh, flawless emerald straight off the bat. My word, what's that doing down here? Okay, okay, things are looking up for us. There's definitely going to be a market to sell this stuff in in good old Riften when we get there. Which way do I go? What's down here? Oh, this is oh, this is the well. Oh, this is the well. Look at it. <laughs> what's up here? No guards, I hope. No guards. All large sack. Oh, old potato. I don't want old potatoes. Soldier fragment, rotten tomatoes, stale apple. I don't think I'm that desperate. Not just yet. There is honeycomb. Oh, let's take all this. Very nice. Like, you know, this isn't the heist of a century, but I feel like this character, as desperate as he is, he would take... Oh, there's another thieves cache, just like in Markarth. Elixir of light feet. Gold lockpick, steel arrow. White run vault tunnel. Read it. Well, that just points to where we entered. Okay, I don't want to run into any thieves down here or get in the way of anyone's master plans. All right, well, let's take a torch or two. Where is this actually leading me? I think it leads to the Yol's, the Yol's palace, which I don't want to enter because my sneak isn't high enough to hide from them. I think this leads to the yeah Yol's quarters, right? I, I th I'm not ready to go in there. I would be spotted immediately if I went down there. So I think we should leave. Hopefully the rain's let up a bit. Well, at the very least we know this tunnel system is here now, so if we do get very desperate we can always steal from the yard. Oh, there's an invisible wall here. What's going on? Why can't I move past? Oh, there's like an invisible wall going on. What's the dealio here? Oh, oh there we are. Alright, let's get out of here. Nope, it's still raining. I guess there's no two ways about it. 
it's uh, it's time we moved on. I think. I, I to make real coin, we need to head to Riften. I'm, like begging on the streets here for three three gold, five gold, one gold at a time is is all well and good, but I need serious cash, and the underworld of Riften is the only thing I can offer that. So I say we pay for the cart ride. We go to Riften. You know, we look we look to the future. Let's do it. Oh, the thunderstorm begins to let up. I think the rain is meant to be stopping. I can still hear the sound of rain, though. Oh, there we are. It's slowing down. No, oh, it has stopped after all. Oh, it's still thundering. Right. There's the cart master down there. The Khajiits are gone. Actually, let's do a bit of work, shall we, before we leave. We may as well do some laboring. We are not above. Oh, exposure has increased. I must get warm. Oh, I'm very cold now. I guess after the rain let up, it maybe there's a there's a fire over here. Let's warm up on, the, on these rocks here. Yes, please keep me keep me nice and warm. Good fire. There we are. Look at that. Very nice. Right, we'll continue doing some farming once we're nice and warm. We'll sell those, then get the cart to Riften, I think. There we are. I think I'm completely warm now. No longer exposed. Oh, these guys are just looking at me. You okay, friends? Right, let's get this farming done. Give us a little bit of extra scratch. A couple septums here. I could use a nap. I'm tired already, my word. Hmm, maybe I should stay another now and stay another day here. I'll, I'll make my way just to Riften. Then I'll head to Beggar's Row and crash on a bedroll till morning. And then we'll get to get to doing some work, I think. Very nice. Although I'm a bit worried about going to Riften, it's a dangerous place. The low lives and Denizens of the underworld live there. So it might not be safe. I hope I don't get exploited or something. All right, there's a few cabbages and, and leeks and things there. I think there's another farm over here, actually. This will net us some nice profit, I think. Honest pay for honest work. I think... Oh, no, there's even more over here. This is going to net us a lot of coin, actually. Look at all this. Cabbages sell for a lot as well. I think potatoes is a one-for-one. One. Like, one potato picked is one, one gold. But cabbages are a bit more than that. See, I'm not above doing some honest work for coin. I'm not all about begging and stealing, but... You know, we do what we must, I, I suppose. Right, farmers, I have picked your crop. I've done all the day's work for you. Now give me coin. Good to have you by my side. I have leeks to sell. Honest pay for honest work. There we are. Oh, there we are. Brilliant. So it's, it's a two pieces for one leak. Honest pay Potatoes for honest as well, work. friend. And cabbages. Honest pay for honest work. What do I get for the cabbages there? <gasps> two twenty. Dude, look at that. Cabbages. From cabbages are, are great. Most that will definitely cover our fare. So getting to Rifton and give us a little bit more money to just what? There's a saber cat coming on the road. What is he doing? What is a saber cat doing on the road? Uh oh, if he sees the farmers, he's he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna rip he's gonna rip the farmers apart. Uh oh, farmers, be careful! There's a freaking thing on the road. Uh, what is the saber cat doing? He's just walking up to White Run. My word! He's gonna kill the first labourer he sees. He's turned to the horse. He's like snarling at the horse. I can't approach. I can't approach the cart until he's gone. Oh, what's going on here? There's somebody else doing. <gasps> this guy just killed the farmers. Who is this? What's going on? Okay, the saber cat's the better option, it would seem. Oh, now the saber cat's killing people. The saber cat's killing the farmers. He just killed a horse. The saber cat's just. And who's this murderer going? An axe walling murderer. Okay, the saber cat's dead. Farmers, you're going to need to fight this dude. Friends, draw your weapons. Yes. I'll stand with you. Oh, no, he's cutting them down. Oh, what can we. Okay, it's weapon time. Be gone, Bandit Explorer. He's cutting everyone down. It's the Bandit Explorer. He's back. <laughs> He's back. What, what's going on? He has a vendetta against me. He's killing everyone. He's killing everyone. Guards. What, the guards are dead? <laughs> oh, Lord, you're going to die. He's going to kill you. He just slaughtered her. He just gutted her in the streets. But why is everyone... Oh, that's... Okay, it's the second Bandit Explorer. Wait... Which one's which? Is this the guy that got me first episode? I don't even remember. Guards, get him. 
Rain arrows down upon this 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 eagle doer. Come on. Oh, this guy's tough. Yeah, they're getting him though. Luckily he's aggroed on me. Hang on, get him. I can't fight this guy, he's too strong for me. Right, that's it. He's, this guy next one's gonna die. My way, he, he just killed all the farmers. Okay, he's gonna kill the guard. He just oh, oh he just like cut the guy's face off. Okay, he's on his knees. There we are. He's been, he's dead. They got him. He's, he's filled with arrows. He's a pin cushion. Let's cast his body off the battlements. Okay. Let's get out of here. I don't know why the bandit explorer is after me. Look what he did. He's killed another guard. Oh, your friends. Your your guard friend is dead. What are you doing? Going to do about it? This is no time for uh, casualness. All right, I think we'll take the white one's guard sword. I don't think anyone will see us doing that. We'll leave his armor though. I think he deserves to be kept. His dignity deserves to be kept, I think. But my word, look at this. I'm sorry, friend. You saved me. You laid down your life for me, a, a mere beggar. I came to you running because I couldn't fell the, the bandit explorer al alone. So you stood and you guarded me. And for that, you lost your life. Your very life was taken from you. He, you died in honor. You will be in Southern Guard now. Whereas you, Bandit Explorer, you will suffer the grim fate that all evildoers will one day suffer. Look at this. That's like three guards dead. An old woman just got slaughtered. Uh, Lilith Maidenloom. Like, who was? Who is she? She's just dead now. I'm taking her stuff. I'm guessing she's like an important NPC. I don't know why, like... Was she like a quest giver or something? Right, well, what a crazy turn of events that was. Everyone's slaughtered. At least the cart master's alive. This is the harshness of Skyrim, man. In one second, I was <laughs> picking vegetables and talking to the laborers and working for the farmers, and then the next second, they're all cut down. I mean, they managed to fell the saber cat, but the bandit explorer was a was another story. Look at this. Like, all the farm workers have just been killed. <laughs> this is why honest work never pays. This is why I'm a beggar. If I, was, if I was working in the outlying farms, who knows what kind of raider just attacks at any given second, and my guy's stomach is, is rumbling again. Oh, this is a sad episode, man. What a, what a grim... What a grim moment this is. We've got a key to the stables. That might come in handy at some point. Bread as well. Very nice. Oh, chicken soup. We've got food aplenty. Dog meat stew. Oh, I guess. I guess it hits the spot when needed. Let's take this saber cat's pelt as well. It's worth quite a lot. Right, before we get to the cart master, which we went to do immediately, and if we did, these people might have still been alive. Because for some reason, ban this bandit explorer is after me. But they, they killed the farmers as well. Well, the, the bandit explorer did anyway. Look at this. He killed this laborer. Pelagia farm key, and he actually killed Pelagia as well, I think. The actual owner of the farm. Yeah, he killed he killed Pelagia himself. He, the owner of the farms is dead. This is like big. He owned the Whiterun farms. It's, this is like a, a major landowner being slaughtered on his own land. Like, where is the Yarl during all of this? Why is he okay with this? Well, we've got the Pelagia farmhouse key now anyway, so... I don't know, maybe one day we can <laughs> buy this farm or something, I don't know. It's, it's going to need a new owner for sure. But, uh... Yeah, <laughs> freaking Pelagia himself is dead. Just felled by the great axe of a bandit explorer. Oh, and as the sun sets again. We thought it was safe behind city walls. <laughs> the chaos is dead. Bleeding bodies. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, that is a very nice sunset, look at that. The disc, the, hori the far horizons, the orange, the orange sky beckoning us over the mountain tops. Friend, I require passage to Riften, ride? please. I would like to go to Riften, my friend. Please. Back and we'll be off. Thank you, thank you, friend. I'll take one last look at the glorious plains of White Run. I hope to return one day with more coin in my pocket and more honor to my name. But until then, to the dregs of society we go. The alleys and the sewers of Riften. Let's go. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Black Briar Meadery. And here we are, White Runner or Riften stables discovered. I'm very tired, very thirsty, very hungry. So we should 
get into the city and find a place amongst the beggars to crash our, our heads for a while and sleep away the day. Oh, wait, what's this? I let you into Riften, you need to pay the uh, a visit? Oh, I'm not parting with any coin. I'm a measly beggar. Well, I have no money. The city. Privilege what for this grey city. This is a shakedown. This is a, fee this is a shakedown, my friend. I'm not doing this. All right. Keep your voice down. There we go. I you called him out and it worked. Hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. There we are. Yes, I'm looking it. for you. Oh, got something I'm supposed to deliver. Looking for me, a courier. Only. What is this? The gate's unlocked. You can head inside. <laughs> okay. I better get going. I know. No, what do you what do you I've have been for me? For you. Go on. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Inheritance. So your, uh, oh, inheritance. Who died? Okay. Was it a farmer? Sorry, One of the farmers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. An another letter. Let <laughs> we got the one from the beggar for in the first episode. Now we've got another one. What's actually going on here? Letter of inheritance. Uh, so that's that's the one. That's the beggar's one. So it's going to be the other one. Who who died that we were close to? Then it's going to say like one of the laborers or the or plagia or something. Yeah, plagia. We worked we worked for him for one day and he left us an inheritance. He left us less than the beggar. That's funny. He left us a hundred gold rich. The beggar left us three hundred. What a shame. Pla plagia is dead. We will return to the hall of the dead one day. He was kind enough to leave us an inheritance though. Uh, although we only worked for him for one day, but I guess <laughs> I guess we were on the payroll or something on the tax forms, so he gave us a little bit of gold. Well, well I got. In you I, go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Trying to shake me down. Let's get inside. Oh, and here we are, Riften discovered. Nope. Sorry. Look at this. Nothing. This is going to be our new home for a while. Oh, me all the liners. Thieves Guild. Nope. Sorry, Talk of the Thieves not Guild. Not so oh, no, okay, jail. friend, leave me alone, courier. Couriers are so weird in this game. They're oddly creepy. Alright, well, so there's to already the talk of the Thieves Guild as soon as we enter the town, hey, is there? Get over here. I'm really getting to tired of your excuses. No, when I'm a beggar. I don't need to talk to you. Oh, what's this? I know I do. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Get robbed. Nope. Next Sorry. time, keep your plans nothing. quieter and nothing will happen to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Robbed me. Oh, Why? oh, this is a member of the Thieves Guild. My word. And who's this? Oh, a Khajiit. Citizen. Right. Oh, already, already we're running into strong arm. People trying to strong arm us. This guy wants to talk to us. Oh. You and Riften looking for trouble. Listen. No, I'm, I'm a measly beggar. I'm just passing through. Uh, it's none of your business. Actually, what's Don't it to say you? Something you'll regret. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Need is some loud mouth trying to meddle in their affairs. Listen. I, I, who are the Black, the Black Briars? Briars? I don't even know who they are. I'm a beggar. And the Thieves Guild watching their back. So okay. keep your nose out of their business. Me? Okay. I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. I, I, you know, I'm not exactly clean myself, friend. Then we're speaking the same language. There we are. Good. Okay, we've got this good side. We're so learning the language of the city, know. it would seem. Uh, anything about the Thieves Guild, Black Briars, Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, let's learn about the Thieves Guild a bit. It should, it should do us some good, I think, since we've we really arrived here and we're going to be probably interacting with the Thieves Guild a little bit as a beggar. You're kidding. My brother Dirge works in their hideout. Oh, I see. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. Okay, so he's an ex Thieves Guild member. His brother still is with him. Find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Okay. Yeah, thieves always have need of beggars, I, I suppose. I'm you around. Uh, I guess the beggars are the eyes and ears of the street, aren't they? And, uh, citizen. Good morning. Need I wonder something? if people in this town give beggars coins. I would think they'd probably look down nah, on them. I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. That's what I, th what I thought. Exactly what I thought. Well, I'm hungry, tired, and thirsty anyway right now, so I don't really want to go around begging. So let's go into Beggar's Row. Seems like a fitting place for us. Oh, and here we are. Yes. Oh my, there's a vampire beggar down here? She doesn't look like a beggar. Yes. Who's this guy? An orc with a grey mm. face. Like a white-faced orc. But, uh, this... Uh, it's... It, there's, fu there's a fire here. It's warm, it's warm, I guess. It's <laughs> not the, the best place ever. Th these are owned as well. I can't even sleep on these because... I guess it makes sense. Oh, there's one here that I can sleep on, actually. So there is, there is a place down here for me. And, uh, what's this? W cellar. What is that? It's like a trap. What, what on earth is that? And, uh, oh, there's another bedroll here. Oh, it's like my own little personal room. I can sleep on that bedroll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this room. There's a chest and everything. Cool. I think I'll take this little place. Works for me. 
I'm not going to go to that cellar yet because I don't know what that is. I think it might be a part of a mod. It actually yes. might be the beggar. Oh, yes, this is the beggar's brawl arena. Yes, this is the mod I installed. So it wasn't these row. Uh, I can just take these coin pouches. What? Shrine of betting. So I guess this guy's going to let us Need in. Something. And this is where the beggars are brawl. Through this door is where the beggars brawl. I think we will take a look at that yes. next episode. We'll begin the, the fighting to... pits as a beggar. It'll be some honest, well, not honest coin, but it'll be some coin for us. It's going to be dangerous, but this is, this is why we came to Riften for this arena. It's a place where we can bet, gamble, and also actually fight ourselves. And if we become Need strong something. enough, we'll become a champion and we'll earn much coin. But for now, this place will do. It's, uh, you know, as a beggar, it's, it's shelter. I can't really ask for much more. There's a nice little vampire Wait. down here. I don't know why she's down here. She got an ebony sword. Although I actually have one myself as well. So, mm. uh... Actually, who Need are something? you? Oh, I think she's a wench. Hey, 150 septums. I feel so thirsty and hungry. I think you understand. I don't... I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Is she going to turn me into a vampire or something? Right. Yes, I think I'll leave this episode here. We have arrived now in Rifter and there's no going back. This, this city is going to be unkind. There's already blood stains everywhere. It's going to bit of foreshadowing I'm sure for next episode so my friends I will leave this episode here right in this little fireplace so as always if you like what you see feel free to leave a like and my friends if you've been enjoying the content I've been putting out and you want to see more uh, consider subscribing it always helps and is always appreciated so my friends I bid you a farewell for now and I'll see you in the next video goodbye for now